Welcome friends. In this video, I am going to talk about the sixth house in astrology. This is one of the most important houses because it is part of three different groups in our charts. And these three groups are the Upche houses, the Apoklim houses and the Trik houses. So what are the Upche houses? The Upche houses are the third house, sixth house, tenth house and the 11th house so these houses they will give you lot of growth during their dashas so if your sixth lord is connected with these houses so under its dasha you will see lot of growth in your life the second grouping is the apoklim houses these are the third house sixth house ninth house and the 12th house so if your sixth lord is connected with these houses in that case during its dasha you will have lots of expenditures in your life the third group is the trik bhavas that is the sixth house eighth house and the twelfth house if your sixth lord is connected with these bhavas during its dasha you will have lots of adverse conditions and post that you will have rise in your life because this kind of condition forms a viprit raj yoga so now let's talk about the things which come out of the sixth house this house consists of many good things and many evil things so first of all what are the good things that comes through this house the good things are it's your day to day life so you can say that it's also your job because the person spends most of his time doing his job it's also about your competitions so everybody has to excel in his life once he goes through the competitions and he is able to uh, come victorious it's also about your servants so if the 6th house is good you will have good servants it's also about sports it's also about your stamina so if the 6th house is good you will be very well active in sports and you will have good amount of stamina now the negatives coming from this house are the 3 d's debts difficulties and diseases so it can land you up in some kind of loans and difficulties could be related to litigations court cases one can become a lawyer also i'll talk about it later under what conditions it's favorable for a person to become a lawyer or a doctor and it can give you some kind of uh, diseases also or the person could be in a career where he is fighting up against those diseases so i'll talk about those conditions in a while now this house also deals with accidents sudden losses and diseases which are of temporary in nature and this can also deal with thefts and some kind of sudden injuries so it can also deal with poisons so many negative things do come through this house so it should be handled with lot of care and introspection now the 6th house wherever the 6th lord will go and sit you will have enemies coming from that house or you will not gel well with the people who come through that house suppose your 6th lord goes to your 5th house although the 5th house is the 12th house of your 6th but you will not have cordial relations with your children or you may have problems related to children during your life the place where the sixth lord will look that house is also going to have some kind of problems so if the sixth lord is present in your fifth house and it is aspecting your 11th house from there in that case you will have problems coming from your social circle also and your children will also suffer with this kind of combination so it becomes very important
to see the connection of the sixth lord in your chart. This lord should ideally be either in the sixth house itself. In that case, it will help you curb many negativities coming from this house or the sixth house should be in the eighth house which is another trig bhava. So the negative energies of the sixth house will be destroyed by being in the eighth house or it should be in your twelfth house so that the negative energies of this bhava will be destroyed by being in another trick house of your chart. The lord of the sixth should never be placed in your kendra or in your trines because these are some positive houses of your chart and the positivities coming through these houses would be under a check when the sixth lord is present in your kendra or in your trines because from the trines you get continuous blessings. These are the houses of your luck and the houses of your power and religiousness and the kendras are the houses of power. Any planet who is present in the kendra will become very powerful. So imagine if the sixth lord becomes and uh, goes to one of the houses of your kendras that is one four seven ten it becomes very very powerful and it can give as much harm as it can during its dasha so the sixth lord should not be powerful by being in the kendra or in the trines now you have to give a lot of importance to the connection of the sixth lord with your lagna or with your lagna lord or with your moon it should have no connection with either of these because if the sixth lord forms a connection with your lagna lagna lord or moon in that case the person will not have a good health if the lagna lord is strong he will be able to fight against those diseases and uh, will be able to regain a good health but if the lagna lord is weak and sixth lord is forming a connection with the lagna in that case the person remains sick all through his life so it becomes very important to have no connection with the lagna so that the person will have a robust health now the planets present in the sixth house should be studied very carefully. Ideally, all the malefics should be associated with the third house, sixth house and the eleventh house. What I mean to say is the malefics are considered as well placed when they are in your sixth house because they will give you lot of stamina and resistance against diseases. You will be able to have a good resistance power when any disease happens to come to you. See the karkas of the malefics will also not suffer when they are present in the sixth house or you can say they will suffer um, at the minimum cost whereas benefics will also do well in the sixth house they will save you guard against diseases against competitions against um, against the negatives of the sixth house but the karkas of the benefics will suffer a lot by being in the sixth house. So I will talk about them one by one. So see the malefic planets in the sixth house uh, uh, will definitely give you some problem or the other. See if there is any planet whether it's malefic or a benefic it's definitely going to give you problems but you will be able to come out of it. So this way the sixth house becomes strong and this house should not be stronger than your lagna. Your lagna should be the most strong and the sixth house should be weaker than the lagna. Ideally the malefics like Mars and Saturn should be debilitated in the sixth house because with this they will form a condition of Viprit Raj Yog. Viprit Raj Yog means uh, under adverse conditions you will prosper so when the malefics become weak they will make sure that the diseases or difficulties or enemies they will also suffer some kind of weakness and they will be ruined during your dasha so 
the malefics should be debilitated in the sixth house so as to cause you minimum harm but if these malefics are in exaltation in that case the disease the court cases or the difficulties will become very big for you and you will have to undergo lot of resistance to overcome those problems i am not saying that you will not be able to overcome those problems you will be able to overcome those problems but lot of resistance would be required when these malefics they become uh, exalted in your sixth house ideally whether it's a malefic or a benefic it should be present in its own sign in the sixth house when a condition like this happens when a malefic or a benefic is present in its own sign in the sixth house in that case it will give you very good results and all the negatives all the negativities coming from the sixth house will suffer under this conditions and you will have a uh, gains because the enemies will suffer the diseases will suffer the house will suffer and the native will gain under this condition so under these conditions when the pl planets are posited in their own signs in the 6th house whether they are malefic or benefics the person could be into a profession which is dealing with those areas which means he could be a good lawyer he could be a good doctor he could be a good sports person where lot of competition is involved in his day to day life by being a lawyer he will be fighting up against uh, people's problems and by being a doctor he is again fighting against diseases so in that case the person will gain out of those conditions so it becomes a vipreet raj yog when the planets are present in their own sign in the 6th house similarly if the planets of the 6th house i mean the 6th lord is present in your 8th house or in your 12th house again it will form a vipreet raj yog but here it's not important that you will be in the same profession but it will give you some adversity and followed by that the person will have a gain suppose venus is the lord of your 6th house and it has gone to your 12th house or say to your 8th house now the karka for venus will suffer which means uh, venus is your marriage is your in-laws is your spouse so there will be some kind of losses related to these karkas and after you undergo those losses you will have a rise in life so under adverse conditions the person will rise suppose jupiter is the lord of your 6th house and it goes to your 8th house or say to your 12th house in that case you will undergo some loss related to your own self related to your own body related to your own family and after that you will have a rise in your life so this point should also be kept in your mind while you are reading the 6th house one more thing is that a benefic like venus when if it is present in your 6th house you will see that uh, the females will have some problems related to uh, female issues and after their marriages Uh, you will see that those female related problems would vanish so this is also seen when venus is present in your 6th house now uh, what happens when the planets are present in the 6th house what kind of results can be expected let's talk about them one by one suppose planet mars is present in the 6th house if mars is present it will give you lot of resistance it will give you lot of fighting abilities and you will be prone towards accidents and suddenness of things you will be a good worker but at the same time at your workplace you will have many enemies and it could also make you work in very tough conditions so it will give you a good resistance it will make you strong and you would be always handling difficult conditions in your life and you will pr be prone towards surgeries also or you will be dealing with those things depends upon which sign this mars is as i just explained earlier so mars will give you conditions related to these things 
and the karka of mars will suffer because mars is the karka of land you will have problems related to land mars is the karka of brothers you will have problems related to your brothers and mars is a karka for injuries so you will be having problems related to that what happens when saturn is present here see saturn's tendencies are to help that house it will safeguard the house wherever it is present so saturn will safeguard the sixth house from difficulties and diseases from competitions so it means the person will be able to excel in his life there won't be any competition his day to day life will be easy for him there won't be any diseases because saturn will make sure this person doesn't have any disease so he will not be able to have any enemies also under this so saturn will save you guard and it will make you stronger the native will gain so if a planet like rahu is present here rahu is also going to behave like saturn only and rahu will make sure there are no enemies for you there are no court cases for you and you will be able to have a, a very healthy life but at the same time the karka of rahu or say saturn will suffer by being in the 6th house so the karka of saturn is your is your knees is your um, is your nerves so you may have problems related to nerves related to knees uh, and problems in your old age because saturn is old age also similarly rahu will give you problems related to people of really low caste and people who are unknown to you sudden problems sudden uh, there would be issues related to theft also so see the karkas will suffer when these planets are there but the native is going to stay healthy throughout his life by the placement of malefics in the 6th now if ketu is present here ketu is all about uh, controlling those things which are coming from the house wherever it is placed so it will curtail those things so if ketu is here it will not let any competition stand up against you it will not let any disease stand up against you it will not let any enemy stand up against you which means you will excel in your work you will have recognition in your work you will not have any diseases you will have a cordial day to day life and you will be philanthropic because will you will not need any loans so if the person doesn't need any loans it means he has sufficient money so he will be into charity also so ketu in the 6th house does a lot of good now if a planet like um, jupiter is present here see jupiter's tendencies are uh, that it will not help the house characteristics grow wherever it is present so it will not give a good growth of the negative things which are coming from the 6th house so which means it will not let enemies prosper it will not let diseases prosper it will not let competitions prosper so which means it will give you good results of the 6th house so it will again help you additionally this jupiter also has three aspects which means from here it is looking at your 9th house sorry your 10th house so you will prosper in your career and from here it's aspecting your 12th house so it will control your expenditures it will give you good results of the 12th house from here it is aspecting your second house so you will have good amount of contained wealth you will have good family life good family relations so many things will prosper by the presence of this jupiter here but again the karkas of jupiter will suffer jupiter is the karka of body fats is the karak of your liver of your knowledge of your speech so these things would be under suffering the person may not be much interested in studying because when jupiter is weak the person doesn't want to study more and there will be lack of knowledge and he may have problems related to his digestive system so this way uh, jupiter will play its role by being in the 6th house so out of all the benefits jupiter does you lot of good by being in the 6th house now if venus is in the 6th house 
the carcass of venus will suffer for sure and the person may not have a very cordial married life because venus is about your marital relationships it's about your spouse so the person will have problems related to spouse and females will have some female related problems gyne issues and venus is also about your liquid cash so you will never be able to um, save your cash and you will be very spent thrift and at the same time venus being a benefic in the 6th house it can make sure either you are a healer or you are into uh, a career which is related to venus so you could be into cinema industry you could be into uh, arts related industry or something which is uh, which is uh, which is dealing with hospitality industry so things related to venus will be uh, prospering when venus is present here there won't be any diseases for you uh, there won't be any competitions for you there uh, your life will be easy but many things which venus is holding on they will suffer under its dasha now if pre uh, presence of mercury is there so mercury is all about your mind so you will have lot of stress but you will be still able to deliver well at work so you will do well in your career and you may have a career related to commerce and you could be a good lawyer also you could win in litigations but you will always be under constant stress because of this mercury who is present here if the mercury is in its own sign that is sign of virgo it will give you a good intellect but it will always give you problems related to your nerves related to your skin related to your stress so this way the carcass of mercury will suffer but still it will help you control the negatives coming from the 6th house now if the planet like moon is present you have to see what kind of moon it is if it is a exalted moon then it can uh, behave like a benefic here and it will help you from many kind of difficulties but you will see that the mother will have some sufferings and the family life would undergo some kind of problems the person would be prone to depression or prone to blood related problems because the karka of moon will suffer and there is also a issue of balrisht by moon being in the 6th house the person would be prone to a uh, lot of illnesses up till the age of 12 and after that he can have a sound health so moon has to be looked very carefully and uh, it can give you a bad health if it is um, if it is debilitated here any benefic if they are debilitated here can give you some health issues also now if a planet like um, sun is present sun is a malefic it will give you a good robust health but uh, you will have problems related to bones uh, or things related to your father or government or you may be working with government only so depends on which sign this sun is if sun is exalted here you could be dealing with government related organizations if sun is in the enemy sign you could um, uh, you could be having uh, problems related to your father or um, you could be having problems related to government or your teeth or your bones so this way you have to study the presence of planets in the 6th house and the 6th house should be very strong but not stronger than the lagna and this is how they play their role so friends this was all about the 6th house i hope uh, you must have gained something or the other from this video so i'll see you in my next video until then bye friends